AIDS really hit the, hit the community like a, like a bomb, shall I? It, it was a very scary time in the early 80s. The gay community was very highly politicized at the time because we were just coming out of things like the bath raids. The name act, you know, was actually was a bit of a stroke of genius in a way because it sort of not only did it give you an acronym, but it also somehow told people what we were going to do. We were going to act in response to this, uh, to this uh, crisis. AIDS, or Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, is a fatal disease that destroys the body's natural immune system, leaving the person open to illnesses most of us have no trouble fighting off. ACT was, I think, the vehicle that people turned to, that the city turned to, to be the connection to the community that was being impacted by AIDS. People who have unprotected sex uh, are, are at risk for AIDS. That's the simple fact of it. If you're going to share needles, the way to protect yourself against HIV is to clean it. I think over the years it's played a very incredible role in helping other organizations to get started. Our first poster that Black Cap ever developed was developed with, with, uh, with ACT. He works with the AIDS Committee of Toronto mm -hmm. and he is a volunteer there. You do counseling there? Yes, I'm an aid support counselor. I'm actually a staff person there full time. ACT was the place that had the information, the knowledge, the skills around AIDS and was very welcoming to ethnic groups, diverse groups that didn't have the knowledge, the skill, the means, the access to funders. We also got involved in ACT through women. Women was now the other emerging population and the group started and out of that became Voices of Positive Women. There's part of the work that they do that is, is care with people who ha have HIV. But there's also the work that I work with them on and, and focus on and that is the prevention and education. And that is crucial. And that's the hardest part. I think that we were a pioneer in doing that kind of uh, sex positive uh, communication for gay men and that uh, then led into other work as we did with women and other communities as uh, AIDS be a HIV became a broader I issue outside of the gay male community. The ch face of AIDS has, has changed. I mean it's 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 changing all the time um, and it's not that you know you sort of move from one community to another. Um, it's now all different kinds of communities. To do AIDS work it means you must be able to challenge not only the status quo, but culture and values. Well, you know when there's an issue around HIV and AIDS, the ACT will be there, that the uh, individuals as well as the organization has always take, taken a, a clear uh, role in activism. We have to really remember that we wouldn't be here without the, the real guts and courage of um, those 10 volunteers who saw a need for this organization at a time when there was a lot of panic, when there was a lot of misinformation, when there was no resources and support, nowhere for them to go, that they had a vision of an organization that would be here. I don't know if they thought it would be here 25 years later, but here we are.